In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool quick photo flashing effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, the film mats that you see in this video are from Cinepax, and they're actually from their film mat bundle on their website. I will have a link down in the description below, but I'll go ahead and just show you how to create this really cool quick photo effect in Final Cut. So as you can see, I have two clips right here. So I have clip number one and then clip number two, but I wanna create a really cool transition in between the two clips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the playhead in between um, both clips. I'm gonna go ahead and select a couple of photos. Now these are just screenshots from the videos. So I'm gonna hold down Command and just select four photos. And I'm gonna press on W to insert the photos into the time, but just in between the two clips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all four of these clips and then I'm gonna click on Control D and then click click on seven and then click on return. All that did was it set the duration of the photos to seven frames. So I go ahead and just zoom in a little bit. Let's go ahead and play the clip and this is what it looks like. You have a whole bunch of photos just flashing up on the screen, but let's do a couple more things to make it look even more dynamic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple film mats. Now in order to actually import these in a final cut, they're just overlays. So all you wanna do is click on command I, and then you're just gonna go ahead and locate where you have the folder saved. As you can see, the film bundle and film mats. I went ahead and picked these 16 by 9 so you can go ahead. They're all PNG overlays so you can go through and kind of just figure out which ones you want. Let's say we want to use maybe this one looks pretty cool but you see there's a whole bunch of other options. There's a whole bunch of really cool um, like options so I'm just going through and kind of looking through and figuring out which ones that I want to use. So as you see there are a whole bunch of really cool options. Let's go ahead and select this one. Click on import select and you're just going to import that into your timeline. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drag all these film mats and you're just going to place them on top top of the clips and then go ahead and just trim them by using um, option right bracket. We're just placing the film mat overlays on top of each of each uh, photo and then we're just trimming the um, trimming the clip the duration of each photo and just like so it's just kind of a rinse and repeat uh, process. Now let's go ahead and let's use this last one place it on top of the photo again and let's just go ahead and just simply trim it. So as you can see, now you have these really cool like film overlays. You see, that already looks a lot cooler. Now you could select both of these and create like a compound clip to group them if that helps you keep things organized. In this case, I'm not gonna create a compound clip, but you could do that. It's just a nice way of keeping things organized. Now we're gonna go over here to the titles and the titles and generators tab. We're gonna go ahead and apply an adjustment layer. Now this adjustment layer is a free plugin from Ryan Nagel. It is essential for all Final Cut editors. You definitely need to go ahead and, and uh, download this free adjustment layer plugin. Let's just take the adjustment layer and just drag it onto the timeline. Now let's go ahead and select on this adjustment layer. Click on Control D and then click on six and then click on return. All we did was we set the duration of the adjustment layer to six frames. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little more. Now we're gonna start the beginning of the adjustment layer. We're gonna go forward one, two, three, and press M to create a marker. Now head over to the effects panel. Let's go over to blur. Now this is a built-in um, effect in Final Cut. Let's apply the directional blur on top of the adjustment layer and let's switch the position over to something like maybe um, 90. This can be completely up to you. So let's go to 90, change the angle to 90. Now let's go to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Let's take the amount and we'll bring it all the way down to zero and then place a keyframe on the amount. Go forward one, two, three frames and let's go ahead and really crank this up. So let's go really high something like maybe 250 and then go one, two, three, go to the end and then bring this all the way down. So all we did was just keyframe the amount of the directional blur. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, and it's back to normal. So let's go ahead and take this adjustment layer and just place it in between the clip right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and select on this adjustment layer and click on Command C. And we're gonna go ahead and click on Command V. And we're just gonna paste this adjustment layer a couple times. I think that's enough. And all you're doing is you're placing the middle of the adjustment layer in between the cuts to just create like a nice little like blur transition. As you can see, all everything, you should be, go ahead and copy exactly what you see on the screen. You're just placing the middle of the adjustment layer in between the cuts to add a really cool blur effect. So if I go ahead and play the clip, this is what it looks like. You have this really cool like blurred flashing photo effect. So let's go to the beginning of this adjustment layer right here and I'll kind of just break it down frame by frame so you can see what's happening. As you can see, I just keyframe the amount of the direction blur. If I select the adjustment layer, and then as you can see, one, two, three, it's really blurry, and then one, two, three, it's back in focus. And again, you're just placing it in between all these different, in between the different cuts. And there you go, it really is, it's really as simple as that. 
and you create this really cool like flashing photo effect. I just think this is a really cool effect. There are of course other things you can do to make it look a little bit different, but I think it's just a really clean, simple effect. It's just a really cool way of having a bunch of photos kind of a display on the screen rather than just having like a photo, photo, photo. This is just a really cool way to add a little bit of like life to it and make it look a little more interesting and just overall make it look a lot more dynamic. I think this is a really cool, really clean, simple transition. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, presets, and overlays, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.